Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a full review of the Android 5.0.1 Lollipop uh, official firmware for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. You can download right now from Sam Mobile uh, website. Uh, and uh, for the N910F, the LTE international variant, it's also available for the N910C, uh, which is the octa-core variant. And if you don't know how to update, if you want to see a tutorial, uh, go ahead and check out my channel. So anyways, this is the Android 5.0 Lollipop. Uh, First, I'm gonna go here into settings to show you that this is 5.0.1. Just gonna tap here a couple of times, and you can see this is the Android 5.0.1 Lollipop. And if you hold this Lollipop, you will see a game here. Uh, so this is how the Lollipop looks like. Most of the stuff is, uh, you know, from the looks, it has the same look as the 4.4.4 KitKat. But when you uh, scroll down. And when you see the notification center or notification area or quick settings, uh, you can notice that this is now more cleaner, more lighter blue color here. And then, uh, of course, uh, all of your notifications are going to appear here with the white background. And some notification uh, will go to appear here if your device is locked and you can hold and just, you know, uh, do a quick stuff that you can uh, check out. Uh, so, unlock the device just swiping anywhere and we have only one shortcut which is shortcut to the camera now if you go here you can see that uh, the background is uh, not white like we have with the stock lollipop so it's really great to have a blue background or whatever wallpaper you can have you can hold the screen if you hold the screen you get these three options from home screen settings you can uh, dis have any transition effects you can disable the uh, flipboard briefing and then also you can check out wallpapers. Uh, these are the wallpapers that we have with the lollipop. I'm using this one, I think. So uh, let's have this wallpaper. And uh, you can see it feels really smooth in hand, really fast, no problem whatsoever. Uh, same touch, uh, touch with the UI experience. You can edit, create folder. Uh, you can also uninstall and disable apps, hide apps, really great. So most of the stuff is the same, but we have now more cleaner look. And of course, double tapping the home button will initiate the SOS. And then also holding the uh, home button will initiate the Google Now. And of course, if you uh, press this button, you can see now we have card based notification. And then we also do have the same wise as the KitKat. But anyways, you can close everything. Uh, at once by clicking this button really effective and you can also check out the RAM usage if you want to and this is how the notification center looks like has a quick button here to check out more settings you can quickly edit them uh, you can also go here into the settings main settings now setting is a little bit more cleaner with the, that same cleaner uh, look and all that light blue colors and this uh, uh, animation when you scroll down you can see this is the animation that we have uh, really great and uh, nothing too fancy about the settings we do have now a better battery info uh, monitor you can say if you go here into the uh, let's see here we have the power setting and you can see now we have a little bit better uh, info about the battery you know the battery usage which app is using which uh, you know how much of the battery and all that uh, feels really great. So uh, the uh, the S Pen here has same kind of oops have same kind of features. You can see that nothing really special, uh, but it definitely have more smoothness that I feel uh, felt as compared to the KitKat. You can see it really fast, and of course you have this button to you know have this. And you can have the action memo. You can uh, smart select. You can also image clip. And then you can also screen wide. Uh, really great. So if we check out the camera, there is a new feature in uh, the video mode that I want to show you. Is that if you go here into the camera uh, after installing the lollipop, and you go here into the settings, then you click on more settings, and then you go here into video size. Now we have 1920 by 1080p FHD or I'm not sure if you can see but this is 60 FPS video now you can call it a 60 FPS video using your Galaxy Note 4 so for example uh, let's say if I'm recording this video this is a 60 FPS video guys this is really great and this is how everything looks like okay on the 60 FPS you can also touch the focus on uh, your object 
feels really great and you can also stop recording so I made a video earlier so I'm gonna just show you like this one so of course this is how the video player looks like oops let's try it again video player is basically the same as the KitKat nothing that special but you can see the frame rate is really awesome 60 FPS so clear just to focus looks really fine and really awesome feature that we have on the KitKat right now I'll make a separate sample of uh, the Android uh, 5.160 FPS video recording feature uh, I will upload that video so you can see more clearly I will do a video outside and uh, but anyways, you can see it's, it feels really smooth, really fast. Most of the stuff uh, from the looks here, app drawer and the, this home screen and these quick apps and everything uh, are the same. But uh, have more cleaner look. If we open up the contacts, you can see now uh, blue look here. Same for the messaging app. Then we have the phone dialer. Then also we have the browser, which uh, comes with the 5.0 theme. You know, when you scroll uh, down and to show you that quick theme but anyways it is really uh, it's the same as previous and of course this is a German uh, firmware it is only available in Germany for N910F but you can install it and of course you can change the language or uh, and of course uh, if you install it you won't gonna lose your apps you can see I do have my apps so uh, I did flash it using audience so you can check my channel out for the tutorial but uh, uh, let's see if we take a look at the gallery. This is how the gallery looks like. Really, really fluid and really good. Just quickly take a look at everything. You can zoom in. It had the same options. Uh, you can see now we have the, the white uh, top here for the options. You can have a slideshow. You can go here into the settings. You can quickly edit, share, and then also you can have a ton of stuff here. You can delete it quickly if you want to so on in all Samsung has adopted uh, really great things from Lollipop they have made all of their apps and settings and notification center and all that looks really uh, you know smooth and cleaner more cleaner than before so be sure to uh, like this video if you enjoyed if you got any questions do let me know in the comment section down below and as far as the battery concerned battery life uh, will uh, you know I haven't done the battery life test at the moment but I will make a separate video about that uh, so um, I hope it will be better and uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below I will see you next video peace out and don't forget to subscribe